This is Code.org, and we are getting started with what? Import desserts.java from Backpack. Cool. Backpack desserts. Import. If you're missing it, you want to click there, copy that code over, and create the new file. All right. We have it, though. That's looking awesome. So, in desserts Java, write an accessor method to return ooh, value stored in the flavor instance variable. Lots of words here. Let's see. Oh, and they do give us a great example. So I'm going to start with that. And then what would we need? Write an accessor method to return the price value stored. Okay, guys, I hit show me how because it's great. It's giving me some info that's going to help. An accessor method uses the following syntax. So we should have a general idea of what a method is going to look like already, right? We've made methods. And I'm just going to throw one down here, you know, public void. Uh, hello, right? And then boom, boom, curly brace. That would be a method when whatever code we need it to run. This time, though, this time we're going to have it return something, right? Instead of just shooting out information or whatever, saying something onto the screen, it needs to give back data. There's a few things we have to do to make that work. First, this void, void means nothing. And that's telling the computer, hey, this function isn't going to return a thing. This method won't return anything. So like system.out.println, hello, right? Nothing is actually returned here. The computer runs this line and it's done. And that's when this would be a void. That's not going to be the case anymore. It's not void. We're asked to push something back. And what is the first one? Write an accessor method to get to return the value stored in the flavor. And so it's really traditional in programming, guys, to use the word get. So I'm going to say get flavor because it kind of it describes what the function will do. Now, it's no longer void because the function is going to push out the flavor. It's going to give back to whoever is calling this the flavor. What is flavor? Flavor right here, it's a string. So I'm going to go down here and I need to tell the computer, oh, yeah, this method, it's going to spit out a string. It's going to spit out the flavor. And now, just like they have here, return instance variable, okay, return flavor. And not new flavor, right? And the reason this is not new flavor is up here. This is the value that we are using throughout the function, through, I mean, throughout the class. New flavor is only going to exist in this method right here. And it's just to set the flavor value, the one that's actually used all the way through, uh, to change it up. Right, so we're using flavor here. Now it's a similar approach for price. On almost, honestly, almost identical. Let me hammer some of that. Let's see. What is price? A double, and then return price. The difference being, this is a double. We're not going to use parameters either time. They don't need to give us any information. It sounds like they're just going to be asking for the information. Cool. Let me just hit run. Make sure there's no errors. Cool. And that's actually looking good. I guess we don't need to test it yet. Bam and bam, onward march.